Gentlemen, I would like to buy this eye hook. That is being marvelous. Seven hundred dollars, please. The wrist guard is being extra. Will you be paying in coin or bullion? About that. Can I trade you something for it? Possibly. We are trading in all kinds of nautical memorabilia. Bones, beard cuttings, pictures and clothes. But you would have to be swapping something pretty special to get an eye hook though. Never mind, I don't want it. They're all a bit gory for my taste. Hello, aren't you pretty? He sounds angry. They're all a bit gory for my taste. Now. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from him. <laughs> That's a bit too suicidal for me. Flower, what are you looking for? I'm a bargain crazed shopper looking for discounts. We've a half off water damage stockings today only. What do you sell? In the store of Babylon. Odds and ends, brick a brack. This and that? Exactly. Peanuts? Yes. Shoehorns? No. Piano keys? Yes. Dinosaurs? No. But there's a sale on poisonous lizards. Buy two, get the least poisonous half price. What are spoon beaks? I think we've a few plush spoon beaks in the cuddly toys section. No, I'm looking for the real thing. Well, this island used to be overrun with the things. They used to stroll in here bold as anything, shedding feathers and upsetting the children. So noble. I've seen an out of them for a while now. That's a bit odd, don't you reckon? Odd? I sell human brains in three colours. Ah. What's all this hoo-ha about Baron Widebeard? Oh, the Baron's here doing a reading of his new book. He gets right involved in his reading. Is the book any good? An instant bestseller. Impressive. Uh, not really. Beardor banned me from selling any competition. All other books are over in the freebie basket. And then I said, Free books. I think I'll have this one. It's a book about birds. Ahoy there, Baron. Hello, lass. Are you enjoying the reading? I... Yes, I've been told my prose is powerful yet soulful. Like Sean Bean? Exactly. What brings you to my barony? I... I expect you're just the first of my fans to arrive. Everyone wants a piece of the barn. Is there anything you want to ask now you've finally met me? Where do you get your ideas from? When I'm stuck for inspiration, I have a wee dram and an early night. And fresh ideas appear to you in dreams? No, my ghostwriter comes up with them while I'm sleeping. So, you're promoting a book? That's right. Wide Beard, Behind the Beard. The life story of me, Baron Ironfoot Widebeard. How did you get a name like Ironfoot? I have iron feet. Your parents must have been interesting. <clears throat> I don't talk about my family. Surely you mention them in your autobiography. 
Of course not. The book's about me, not them. Well, what does it start with? <clears throat> Chapter 1. Kids I didn't like at nursery school. Whoa, I've heard enough. Ready to rush off and buy a copy so soon. I forget the power of my words. Bye-bye, Baron. And she thought I was terribly handsome. I don't want one. I'd hate to be knocked down by a tugboat and have people find that book on me. And the Commodore told me. Well, hello, sweetheart. What can blind Jimmy Thimble do for you? Are you a musician? Oh, nothing so grand. I'm just a fellow with a banjo. I man the toll booth here. Have you seen any spoon beaks lately? I ain't seen nothing lately. Yeah, it's a funny thing, though. Yes. I work here all night and all day. From time to time, I hear bird squawks drifting over from yonder island. Really? From Seoul Island? That's right, honey. Hmm. Will you let me past? Afraid not. I'd love to help you, gal, but I can't let you through without a gate pass. How can I get a gate pass? Truth be told, Baron Whitebeard is the only soul in me who has a pass. One time, the tourist was going across all the time, looking at the funny little man over there. Then, about a month ago, the Baron withdrew all the gate passes. Ain't that a thing? Why would the Baron be interested in the island? I can't say. People used to say a great treasure was hidden somewhere on the island. Perhaps he's looking for it. What's that about funny little men? Yeah, I never seen him. Tourists used to love going to see those little guys. Then a leper colony sprung up and the tourists stopped coming. A leper colony? Yeah, the Baron used it as a reason to take back all the gate passes. And there was another thing. What? I only know what I heard. There's a magic man on Saul Island. A magic man? I hear he works enchantments near old Saul Mine. So the Baron has the only gate pass? Sorry, honey. Please, will you let me pass then? I can't do it. I need my job. Well, if I got Baron Whitebeard's pass, then would you open the gate? I guess so, but I don't know if it's safe over there. Don't worry, Mr. Thimble. Nothing frightens Nelly Cootalot. Bye, Jimmy. Come back soon, honey. I hear you have the Saul Island Gate Pass. Yes. You don't feel like lending it to me? The island's a, a very dangerous place, Carol. You'll stay away from Saul Island if you know what's good for you. But... That Gate Pass is locked safely in Whitebeard Tower, so forget it. <laughs> Where is your tower, by the way? I won't be helping you steal from me, lassie. Baron Whitebeard is no pool. You mean no fool? Go away! Bye bye, Baron. Are you looking to get my signature, dear? Uh, no. Curses! He noticed me trying to swipe it.
Oh, look, an indigo tankard. I want a drink, but I don't want to spend any money. You're in a pickle. Hey, maybe Captain Rehab will offer to buy you a drink. Don't even joke about that, Friday. Time to set sail. Bye now. I am a pirate just like you, except cleaner and prettier, less smelly, without that world-weary glaze to me eyes. <laughs> you aren't nice. No, I'm a pirate. Shut up! I'm the fearsome pirate Nelly Cootalot. I'm so piratey I can... Drink a barrel of grog in one swig. I drink two before getting out of my hammock. Depressing. I'm so piratey I can... Whip up a delicious ship stew. That sounds delightful. The secret is adding jasmine just before the boil. I'm so damn piratey I can... Splice the main brace in under 15 seconds. I can do it in 10. Curses. I'm so piratey I can... Fart the alphabet. I don't even know the alphabet. That is pretty piratey. I'm so piratey I can... Oh, I don't need to impress you. I'd better haul anchor. Huh. The Cutania doesn't sail in the traditional sense. I can't actually control where it goes, and right now I want to be here. Combine those things. I cannot combine those things. I cannot use. <laughs> I'll read Maris, Captain Nelly Cutelot, at your service. Pleased to be meeting you. Welcome to Bjorn and Olafsen, the one-stopping shop for all your nautical needs. Our motto is being, you can't be a pirate without B.O. Catchy. Who is Bjorn and who is Olafsen? He is Bjorn, and I am being Olafsen. You fellas seen any spoon beaks? No. But we are seldom leaving the shop. So you don't know anything about what's happened to them? I am being very sorry. Tell me about the Baron. Don't be mentioning that man in here, please. He is driving away our customers with anti-pirate laws. And beatings. However... Yes? Well, we were hearing a rumour. Yes? The word is being that the Baron has a shady operation going. Oh, yes. On Sour Island. Yeah. What's new in stock? Oh, so many things. Powder monkey grooming kits. Main brace splices. Nautical memorabilia. Brass monkey warmers. The eye hook. Half price swashbuckles. A range of pirate DVDs. 
and new punish dick swab. Wow. Tell me about... Powder Monkey Grooming Kits. When Powder Monkeys are loading cannons, they are not always thinking of their appearance. Aren't you hating it when they are being covered in ash and all scorched? Yes, I am. We are having the solution. Our grooming kits will soon have those scrawny lummoxes looking shipshape and in the fashion of Bristol. Main brace splices. Say goodbye to lower back strain with our portable main brace splicer. Buy one today and receive a hatch pattern downer absolutely free. How can you resist it? Nautical memorabilia. Oh, what a fine range of nautical memorabilia and piratical relics we are having. The eye patch of Rudy Metalworth. The pistols of Susie Fireboots. The coat of William Bloodbeard. The teeth of Barney No Teeth. Plus many signed pictures of famous buccaneers. Impressive. Brass monkey warmers. If your brass monkeys are being chilly, try our woolen warmers. They're cozy warm. The eye hook. Oh, the eye hook, a pirate's dream. I've heard some guys cut their hands off just to get one. And not without good cause. A revolution in design it is being, my dear. A lightweight carbon fiber frame with a robust wrist guard. The wrist guard is costing extra. And the best feature is being the magnetic steel tip. Magnetic? No more will one-handed pirates be struggling to collect an array of spilt paper clips. Or to arrange iron filings into the shape of a comical hairstyle. How much is it? Seven hundred dollars. Oh, it's Benny. Half-price swashbuckles. Damaged and improperly buckled swashes are being the biggest cause of death on the high seas. Beating scurvy and plank walking hands down. Really? Yeah, replacing swashbuckles regularly is being the only solution. Try not be taking advantage of our half price offer. Pirate DVDs. We are having a barrel full of bootleg blockbusters. Just in today, Carrots of the Pyrebean. Following the antics of Will Turnip and Jack Asparagus across the Pie Seas. Nah, I don't like documentaries. Punish Deck Swab. Are you wanting your deck clean enough to eat off? That would save on plate money. Then Punish is being the product for you, young lady. Tell me more about Bloodbeard's Coot. Most pirates are having parrots, but Bloodbeard was being a private man. He was keeping a coot because coots do not talk. After he died, we acquired the bird. But it has kept every one of Bloodbeard's secrets. I've heard enough. Ta-ra now. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from him. Hello, aren't you pretty? He sounds angry. It's a bit out of my price range. My life would be easier if I just sliced up everyone who got in my way. But I can't afford a sword. I don't have a cannon. I still have two legs. I wonder where a fashionable baroness would reside. Ugh, 
Widebeard Tower is a dreary, grim little thing. All grey stone and battlements. If we hadn't redecorated, I think I should have gone mad. Interesting. I honestly think I'm the first individual with taste who's lived there. Fascinating. And where is Widebeard Tower? Oh, it's on top of that little hill in the middle of the barony. Excellent. Well, I'm gnashing. Oh, how horrible. No, I mean I'm going. Oh, how marvellous. Hurry now. World record attempt. This afternoon, Angelo Lightfoot will circumnavigate the globe. It says it's organised by the Baronies Dignified Ladies Association. And after, there's going to be a tombola. Damn, I can't get it open. Anyway, shields are for cowards. J.M. Franklin. It has a skull carved on it. I could try and push them down, but today I feel constructive. The stairs are roped off. This board says it'll be open this afternoon. I'd need a good reason to become a grave robber. Well, a reasonable reason at least. That ain't useful here. I cannot use that here. And we all got home in time for oatmeal. I don't want to show that to the Baron. Of course, I woke before the water reached the dresser. Check out this book. It lets me talk to birds. If we were having that book, we would use it to talk to Bloodbeard's coot. Let's give this a try. <clears throat> Hello, bird. Can you understand me? Just barely. Your accent is thicker than the slops of the barnacle. Oh, sorry. I suppose you're another vulture looking for the treasure of Captain Bloodbeard. Well, I'm not going to tell you where it is. I'm not a vulture. You treasure hunters never understand. Booty wasn't important to William Bloodbeard. He was a beautiful man. I don't know. He had a seaweedy kind of look to him this morning. What? You've seen Bloodbeard? Yeah, he sent me here. To investigate missing spoonbeaks? Yes, exactly. My apologies. Sebastian J. Coote, at your service, Miss Cootelot. How do you know my name? Before he danced the hempen jig. So tis the fate of us all. Bloodbeard told me of the one that would take his place. This is your destiny. If I fulfill my destiny, will I be rewarded in the afterlife? Uh, no. Is there a prophecy? Not exactly. A curse? No. Is there any reward? Yes, there's a special hat. Really? No. Tell me about Bloodbeard. Our escapades took us from the lofty peaks of Cuddly Squirrel Island to the fearsome waves of Baby Goose Bay. 
He was a scoundrel, a cutthroat, a bearded buccaneer, but honorable. Like me, except the beard. You must have had amazing adventures. Don't you doubt it. One time, Bloodbeard and I were locked in a cabin by a dastardly villain. But we escaped by sliding a newspaper under the door and pushing the key out of the lock with a pencil. That doesn't sound particularly amazing. No, it wasn't, actually. Thinking about it, we used the newspaper pencil escape in almost all our adventures. I can't think why. Tell me about Bloodbeard. Our escapades took us from the lofty peaks of Cuddly Squirrel Island to the fearsome waves of Baby Goose Bay. He was a scoundrel, a cutthroat, a bearded buccaneer, but honorable. Like me, except the beard. Bye. Come back soon. So, there I was. Swiped. Teach him to read. I 
can just talk to him normally now. I can just... Check out this book. It lets me talk to birds. If we are having that book, we would use it to talk to Bloodbeard's coot. They're all a bit gory for my turn. It already has ink on the nib. I cannot use that with the quill. I cannot use that here. Bye. Come back soon. Toronto. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from him. I don't think those things will work together. I don't think those... I can't take it. It's screwed to the wall. Avast! What? If you want to peruse the fabulous rogues gallery, there'll be a mandatory minimum donation of one dolder. Eh? This is like Soviet Russia. How? Well, there's a lot of vodka about. Ooh, look! An indigo tankard. That ain't useful here. I don't think I can use that there. <laughs> 